My name is Martina Kokotkevich and I am an academic teacher from Poland. I have been interested in Turkic languages and cultures for a long time already, partially because of my work. But I have to admit honestly that only recently have I understood the gravity of the situation in Ulguria and that's why I have become more active in that area. It is undoubtable, and this is the fact I would like to emphasize, that what has helped me to change the attitude was the fact that I had met some people and heard their stories. The stories that affected me to such extent that it came to my mind that if I turned a blind eye to what is going on in certain parts of the world, it would contribute to a crime against humanity. At the moment I can say I have quite a lot of friends among people from East Turkestan. I would like to state, to emphasize, that I haven't met any single one that could be considered a one without any traumatic experience, <clears throat> personal problems, even disorders, affecting their private lives, professional careers, interpersonal relationships. Many of them, most of them living in different European countries, but also in Turkey, in the United States, in Australia, have their families with them, but still they are unable to contact their parents or other close relatives living in China. But some of them live in exile completely alone, even if there are some other Uyghur people in the same city, for example, they are still feeling extremely lonely because their parents, sometimes spouses, close relatives, are in prisons, in camps. Some of their relatives might even be dead, but those people have no idea about the current situation because they are unable to contact anyone. Some of them, in such a tragi tragical situation, are saying that in such circumstances no news actually means good news. Mo many of them still are, um, are feeling threatened, they are afraid to speak out about their situation, that is why I decided not to um, mention anyone in particular in my testimony because I don't want to put any of, any of people I know, any of people who, um, whom I consider important to me at risk. I have tried to promise anyone I know uh, any kind of emotional support. I've promised I'm ready to talk to them, to listen to them any time they need, they are feeling need for that. But still sometimes it seems to me that it is actually me who is provided emotional support by them. Those people, my friends, sometimes they have lost everything, you can say so, I believe, but still they are open-minded, warm, generous people who constitute a living proof for the humanity, for us, that we still have a chance in the future, a chance as humanity. I believe that eventually this is how we will win, and it's only a matter of patience. Thank you.